Covering election 2020 with Georgia votes. Voters now having three more days to send in their mail-in ballots for the November general election. Some wonder if it's uh, possible Florida could follow suit. So earlier this week, a federal judge ruled absentee ballots can be counted in Georgia if they are postmarked by Election Day and arrive at county election offices by 7 p.m. three business days later. News for Jackson reporter Ashley Harding joining us now live from the Supervisor of Elections Office in downtown Jacksonville. Ashley, I know you spoke to a constitutional law expert about this. What did he tell you? Hey, Jen and Bruce, good morning to you both. In fact, he's telling us that the federal judge who handed down that ruling was relying on a ruling in April in Wisconsin, and he says the conditions with COVID were very different then, and that's why that later date was allowed. Now, for this to happen here in Florida with mail-in ballots, he said it would have to begin by going to court. All eyes are on the general election this November, but now Georgia is getting national attention after a federal judge extended the deadline for accepting mail-in ballots. It's a move constitutional law expert Rod Sullivan says would have a big impact on the process. Our, our system works that the ballot has to be received by 7 p.m. on election day so that the election can be certified. And if you're going to push off certification of the election for three days, you're really fundamentally changing the election system. Sullivan says for this to happen in Florida, a lawsuit suggesting some voters would be disenfranchised would have to be filed. Sullivan says while a lawsuit wouldn't surprise him, he doesn't think it would work. We are now two months away from the election. There's plenty of time to obtain an absentee ballot, put a stamp on it, and make sure that it's received by the supervisor of elections by election day. And therefore, I think that the order which was issued in Georgia would not be appropriate in Florida. Sullivan says the solution is simple. Get your ballot early and send it in early. If you're going to wait until the very last day, you're going to create problems. And we want to know the results of the election on election night. We don't want to wait three or four days. And we did reach out to the Supervisor of Elections Office here, and it says as of last week, 123,000 Duval County voters have requested mail-in ballots. And as for the state of Georgia, its Secretary of State says it is appealing the federal judge's ruling. Reporting live downtown, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.